sugar, spice, and everything nice. I'm really sorry if I wasn't able to upload a video last week because it's our finals week and sobrang daming requirements na pinasa and nag-exams din kami online so that's why hindi ako nakapag-film and edit. So this is an overdue video. So for this week's video, it's gonna be a little different. This has been my frustrated dream since I was in junior high school to create some DIYs and have my own YouTube channel and now I'm doing it! So I figured with the current state of the world and the ongoing COVID-19, lalo na ngayon na GCQ and MGCQ na sa karamihan ng mga lugar, It's really dangerous to go out there, man. That's why we need all the protection. So today, I will be showing you guys a few different options for at-home DIY masks. And to make it a little more fashionable, I will also be doing some hair accessories. Kasi alam naman natin na ever since that taal volcano eruption, nagkakaubusan na ng surgical mask and N95 mask. And there's a critical supply for our frontliners and healthcare providers. Before we start this video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and click the bell button beside it to be notified whenever I post a new video. So here's some DIY you can do at home for some added protection. Hey guys, welcome to my voiceover. So for our first DIY mask, it requires absolutely no sewing or gluing. Ito lang kailangan nyo. In my case, I'm using some panyo para mas easy access. But again, it's up to you kung anong gusto mong gamitin. For the hair ties, you can use rubber bands or any elastics na meron kayo dyan sa bahay nyo. For the first step, start folding the bottom edge about halfway and fold one more time until nasa center na siya. Same thing sa kabila and you can see them meeting in the middle. Next, let's scooch that hair ties halfway the center and do it again on the other side. At this point, mukha na siyang candy. Next is take the tail and flip it and tuck it inside sa little packet that we made. Then pull your elastics. If you want, you can totally glue that over and same on the other side. And then flip it over and we are done. second mask, we will be needing some of your skills sa pananahe. But again, we have other option. You can use any fabric glue or even glue gun. For the fabric, mas recommended ang cotton para mas breathable siya. You can use your old clothes to upcycle them and turn them into mask. First step is to turn it on the wrong side, then to piin nyo up to 1 cm. And to create a hem, we are going to press it. And repeat the process 2 times. Also do it on the other side. And guys, by the way, these are the top and bottom of the mask. After that, you can proceed on sewing or gluing it. If you're gonna sew it, you can use the backstitch technique. Learn your TLE guys! And then let's turn it on the right side. Next, we are going to make some pleats. Three pleats to be exact. And then press them all together again. It should be at least 9 centimeters. And then to hold the pleats, we are gonna need to sew or glue both sides. And then flip it again on the wrong side and turn the ends over by 1 cm. To hold them, stitch or glue them together. The size really depends on you and your head, so make sure to measure. Ooh, that rhymes! For the last part, we are going to put some elastics there. Again, if wala kayong elastic, you can use some ribbons, hair ties, and rubber bands. That's it! And we are done! Can we go now? Weekend You light my fire like a cigarette 
I've also made one in pink and this time pinahi ko naman siya using my natitirang skills sa TLE. I see your colors, never forget me with travel while making our own. I've also made one in yellow. This time I used some ribbons. Now, to make them more fashionable, let's make some headbands na bagay sa ginawa nating masks. Again, you can use any fabric and of course, pag wala kayong fabric glue, you can sew. And you also need some scissors and elastics. First step is you're going to fold both the fabric into two. Okay, interruption. Hi! And then stitch or glue them together. Guys, make sure na wrong side ng tela yung nasa labas. And then, do it again sa mas maliit na fabric. After that, we are going to flip them. You can use safety pin or bobby pin. In my case kasi, medyo nahirapan ako kasi I didn't use any. And then press again to make sure na smooth and straight. Do it again on the small one. For the next one, we are going to put that elastic inside the small fabric. And then again, stitch or glue the both side of it. For the last step, we are going to put the end of the small fabric sa hole ng big fabric. And then this step is totally optional, glue or stitch it inside, pero pwede mo nang diretsuhin ito pe, then tsaka mo stitch or glue. And that's it! We are done! I've also made one in pink para sa pink mask na ginawa natin. Yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down. Yeah. Next hair accessory is so easy, you will only be needing some ribbons, hair ties, and some glue. So first step, using the ribbon, we are going to create some bow. And just cut the end of it to make it more cute. And then glue it on the hair tie, and there you have it. For the last face mask that we are going to make, it will require you a little bit of your patience on cutting some patterns. First, I will cut this pattern na print ko. I will link down below kung saan ko siya nakuha. Then fold the fabric into two. And then cut the fabric sa shape ng pattern. Bali in one fabric, dapat may two ka na nakot. In total, 4 fabric in the shape of the pattern ang kailangan natin. Next, we put them together and make sure na both wrong side is yung nasa labas para smooth yung right side natin. And then on the longer side of it, tatahiin or i-glue natin together. Do it sa both side na tela, then press it. Now that we have both our fabric, papatungin natin sila together. And make sure ulit na nasa labas yung wrong side. Then glue or stitch the top and bottom of it. And leave both sides open para ma-flip natin inside and out. After flipping, it's time to fold the side of it and magiiwan ako ng space para dun ipasok yung elastics.
And then after inserting your elastics, you can sew or glue them together. And pwede mo na din siyang buhulin if you want a much easier process. I've also made one in orange and this is how it turned out. For the hair accessories of this mask, this is so easy. Not skills mo lang ang need. So, may sobra akong fabric dito and if inold ko lang siya into a triangle, then i-insert mo lang siya sa loob ng hair tie mo and buhulin mo lang siya. And we are done! I've also made some in pink for the pink mask. That is all I have for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And guys, by this time na fini film ko to, we are so close on hitting 1K subscribers! Thank you all so much for the support. And I know guys na madaming nagre-request sa inyo ng room tour video on my previous vlog. Don't worry guys, makakarating din tayo dyan. As of the moment, inaayos na yung room ko. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Bakasyon na namin guys and madami na akong time para mag-film and edit. And I have a lot of video ideas in store for you guys. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. So that's it! I will see you guys later. Stay safe and well. Bye!